Supraplural membrane or Simpson's fascia. The part of thoracic inlet on either side is closed by dense facial sheet called supraplural membrane or Simpson's fascia or diaphragm of superior thoracic aperture and it is tin shaped. Attachments of the fascia. It is attached to the tip of transfer process of C7 vertebra and its base is attached to the inner border of first strip and its coastal cartilage. Relations of the fascia. The superior surface is related to the subclavian vessels and its inferior surface is related to the cervical pleura covering the apex of the lung. Functions of the fascia is uh, it protects the underlying cervical pleura beneath which lies the apex of the lung. It resists the intrathoracic pressure during respiration. As a result, the root of neck is not puffed up. Structures passing through the thoracic inlet. So, structures passing through the thoracic inlet are as follows. First thoracic nerve, left phrenic nerve, left vagus nerve, and sympathetic chain, and left recurrent laryngeal nerve. Superior intercostal artery, and first post in posterior intercostal vein, left subclavian vein, left common carotid artery, and left internal thoracic artery left brachiocephalic vein and inferior thyroid vein and tubes esophagus and trachea and apex of the lung clinical aspect thoracic inlet syndrome in this syndrome uh, it is a congenitally hypertrophied of the scalenous anterior muscle which pushes upwards the brachial plexus and clinical features are numbness tingling and pain along the medial side of the forearm and hand Wasting of muscles of hand due to paralysis. Symptoms of ischemia due to compression of subclavian artery. External intercostal muscle. There are 11 pairs in number. Extent of the muscle, it extends from intercostal space of the tubercle of the rib behind to the costochondral junction in front, where it is replaced by anterior intercostal membrane. Origin, lower border of rib above, insertion, inserted into the outer lip of upper border of rib below. Direction of the fibers, the fibers are directed downwards, forward and medially, but in posterior part, they are downward and laterally. No supply. No supply by the intercostal nerve of the same intercostal space. Actions. They elevate the rib during inspiration. Intercostal space. The space between the two adjacent ribs are known as intercostal spaces. Thus, there are 11 intercostal spaces on either side. The third to sixth space is known as typical intercostal space because the blood and nerve supply of the third and sixth coastal spaces is confined only to thorax.
contents of a typical intercoastal space. So each space contains three intercoastal muscles, external intercoastal, internal intercoastal, innermost intercoastal or the intercoastal is intimus, intercoastal nerves, intercoastal arteries, vein and lymph vessels and lymph nodes. Let's briefly discuss about the intercoastal nerves. The 12 pairs of uh, thoracic spinal nerves supply the thoracic wall. The anterior primary rami of upper 11 thoracic spinal nerves are called intercoastal nerves. Anterior rami of T1 to T11 are known as intercoastal nerves and uh, they are divided into typical and atypical. Typical as same as 3rd to 6th intercoastal nerves and atypical 1 to 7 to 11th one. So now we will be talking about the typical intercoastal nerves. Curves and relations. The typical intercoastal nerve after its origin turns laterally behind the sympathetic trunk and then enters the intercoastal space between the parietal pleura and posterior intercoastal membrane. It then enters the coastal groove of the corresponding rib to course laterally and forwards. In the coastal groove it comes into relation with the corresponding intercoastal vessels and forms a neurovascular bundle. In the intercoastal space, vein, artery and nerve lie in that order from above downward. Near the sternal line, it terminates as the anterior cutaneous nerve. Branches, it gives the following branches. What is the ram rami communicants? Muscular branches, collateral branch, lateral cutaneous branch and anterior cutaneous branch. Intercoastal arteries. Each intercoastal space has posterior intercoastal artery and anterior intercoastal artery. But anterior intercoastal artery has been divided into upper and lower. Intercoastal veins, uh, they correspond with the intercoastal arteries. Intercoastal lymph nodes, uh, it has posterior intercoastal, anterior intercoastal or internal mammary lymph nodes. Pleural cavity. Pulmonary ligament, pleura surrounding the root of the lung, similar to sleeve of jacket, and it extends downwards as pleural ligament. The extent of the pleural ligament is it extends from root of lung till the diaphragm between the lungs and the mediastinum. And the functions of the pleural ligament is it provides a dead space into which the pulmonary veins can expand during increased venous return like as in cases of exercises allows descent of root of the lung with the descent of the diaphragm during inspiration recesses of the pleura space between the parietal pleura and visceral pleura is greatly expanded in areas of diaphragm and mediastinum these expanded spaces called the pleural recesses they are two in number one is the costodiaphragmatic recess and costomediastinal recess. Function of the process is it provides reserve space of the pleural cavity for the lungs to expand during inspiration. Two recesses costodiaphragmatic recess right and left and costomediastinal recess right and left. So let's start with the costodiaphragmatic recess. It's located inferiorly between costal and diaphragmatic pleura. Vertically, it is extends 5 cm and it is related to 8 to 10 ribs. Fluid of the pleural effusion first collects in this location. So next, costodiaphragmatic recess location anteriorly between coastal and mediastinal pleura. Lungs, principal organs of the respiration and it has a rosy pink color external features it has apex base three borders anterior posterior and inferior and two surfaces coastal surface and medial surface 
The apex is rounded or blunt, superior end of the lung, and it extends into the root of the neck about 3 cm superior to the anterior end of the first rib. Relations Anteriorly, it is related to the subclavian artery, scalenus anterior, and inter internal thoracic artery. Posteriorly, it is related to the neck of the first rib. Base is a lower semilunar concave shape surface that rests on the dome of the diaphragm. Relations It is related to the dome of the diaphragm, right side. It is related to the liver and left side is related to the spleen and fundus of the stomach. Borders Anterior border, it is thin, shorter than the posterior border. In the left flank, it has cardiac notch. Posterior border, it is thick and rounded. It extends from spine of C7 vertebra to T10 vertebra. Inferior, it is semilunar in shape and suppress the base. Surfaces Coastal surface, it is large, smooth and convex it is covered by costal pleura and endothoracic fascia relations it is related to the lateral thoracic wall and mid clavicular line uh, upper six ribs at mid axillary line upper eight ribs and uh, upper ten ribs at the scapular line medial surface uh, two parts vertebral part and uh, mediastinal part Relations of the vertebral part are vertebral column and uh, posterior intercostal vessels, great and lesser splanking nerves, and mediastinal surface. It has relations of the mediastinal surface has been divided into right lung and left lung. In the right lung, right atrium, superior and inferior vena cava, a zygous vein, right brachiocephalic vein, esophagus and trachea, three nerves, right phoenic nerve, right vagus nerve, right sympathetic chain. And relations of the left mediastinal lung, left ventricle, ascending iota, arch of iota and descending iota, left subclavian and left common carotid arteries, esophagus and thoracic duct and four nerves, left phrenic nerve, left vagus nerve, left recurrent laryngeal nerve, left sympathetic chain, lobes and fissures. Right lung has three lobes, superior, middle and inferior and two fissures, oblique and horizontal fissures. Left lung has two lobes, superior and inferior, and one fissure, oblique fissure. Root of the lung The root of the lung is a short, broad pedicle connecting the medial surface of the lung with the mediastinum. It consists of structures entering and leaving the lung at the hilum. The hilum is the area on the medial mediastinal surfaces of the lung through which structures enter or leave the lung. The root of the lung is surrounded by a tubular sheath derived from the mediastinal pleura. Components The principal bronchus in the left lung and a epitrial and hyperterial bronchus in the right lung pulmonary artery, pulmonary veins, bronchial artery, bronchial vein, lymphatics of the lung, anterior and posterior pulmonary plexus of the nerves. Arrangements of the structures in the root of the lung. From before backwards, they are arranged as follows. Pulmonary vein, pulmonary artery and bronchus. And there is a mnemonic called VAB, VAB. Relations Anteriorly, it is related to the phrenic nerve, anterior pulmonary plexus, superior vena cava. Posterior, vagus nerve, posterior pulmonary plexus, descending thoracic iota, superior arch of azygous vein, arch of the iota, inferior pulmonary ligament. Internal structure of the lung. It has been divided into conducting portion and respiratory portion. In conducting portion, trachea, primary, secondary, tertiary bronchus, terminal bronchus, lower bronchiole and terminal bronchiole and in respiratory portion it starts with the respiratory bronchiole alveolar duct atrium alveolar sac alveoli arterial supply of the lungs it has been supplied by the two arteries bronchial artery and pulmonary artery bronchial artery it supplies the nutrition to the bronchial artery and pulmonary tissue right lung has one bronchial artery which arises from the third right posterior intercostal arteries and left lung has two bronchial artery which arises from the descending thoracic iota pulmonary arteries 
supply deoxygenated blood to the lungs one pulmonary artery for each lung bronchopulmonary segments are well defined wedge shaped sectors of the lung which are aerated by tertiary bronchi characteristic features this subdivision of the lobe of the lung it is pyramidal in shape it is surrounded by the connective tissue it is aerated by the segmental bronchus each segment has its own artery a segmental branch of the pulmonary artery each segment has its own lymphatic drainage and autonomic nerve supply drainage by intersegmental veins and surgically resectable number and nomenclature of the bronchial segments as i had already stated in before right lung has three lobes uh, in superior it has three segments apical posterior and anterior in middle lobe it has two segments lateral and medial in inferior lobe it has five segments and they are superior medial basal anterior basal lateral basal and posterior basal and left lung has two lobes superior and inferior so in superior lobe it has five segments one is apical posterior anterior superior lingual inferior lingual inferior lobe has superior medial basal anterior basal lateral basal and posterior basal clinical aspect surgically resection of the lung since each unit has its own bronchial vascular supply and potential space of separation if one segment is affected by disease or any kind of tumor it can be resected conservatively without affecting the another segment mediastinum it is the median septum of thoracic cavity between two pleural cavities boundaries anteriorly it is related to sternum posterior vertebral column superior superior thoracic aperture inferior diaphragm and on its side mediastinum pleura divisions the mediastinum has been divided into superior mediastinum and inferior mediastinum and inferior mediastinum again divided into anterior mediastinum middle mediastinum and posterior mediastinum let's start with the superior mediastinum boundaries anterior mandibulum sternae posterior t1 to t4 vertebra superior superior thoracic aperture and inferiorly transverse of thoracic plane and on each side mediastinal pleura contents of the superior mediastinum arteries arch of aorta brachiocephalic artery left common carotid artery left subclavian artery vein right and left brachiocephalic vein superior vena cava left superior ventricostal vein nose phrenic nose Uh, vagus nerve right and left and sympathetic trunks left recurrent laryngeal nerve lymphoid organs lymph nodes thoracic duct thymus trachea and esophagus muscles sternohyoid sternothyroid longus coli anterior mediastinum uh, boundaries anteriorly body of sternum posterior pericardium enclosing the heart superior transverse thoracic plane inferior diaphragm on each side mediastinal pleura contents loose areolar tissue sternopericardial ligament superior and inferior and lymph nodes internal thoracic artery lower portion of thymus in children middle mediastinum boundaries anterior anterior mediastinum posterior posterior mediastinum superior superior mediastinum and inferior diaphragm contents heart pericardium arteries ascending aorta pulmonary arteries pericardiophrenic arteries vein superior vena cava azygous vein pulmonary veins nose phrenic nerve deep cardiac plexus lymph node tracheobronchial lymph nodes tube cellae bifurcation of trachea and right and left principal bronchi and posterior mediastinum boundaries anteriorly it is related to pericardium and its contents bifurcation of the trachea pulmonary vessels posterior 
bodies of the lower eight thoracic vertebra superior thoracic plane separating the superior mediastinum from inferior mediastinum inferior diaphragm on each side mediastinum pleura contains esophagus thoracic duct descending aorta azygous hemiazygous and accessory hemiazygous vein vagus nerve sympathetic nerve heart and pericardium serous pericardium it is a thin serous membrane lined by the mesothelium it is double layered outer outer layer is parietal layer and inner layer is visceral layer the parietal layer pericardium other end to the fibrous pericardium it develops from the somatopleuric mesoderm it is innervated by the somatic nerve fibers it is sensitive to pain whereas visceral pericardium is other end to the myocardium it develops from splanchnopleuric mesoderm innervated by autonomic nerve fibers insensitive to pain and sinuses of the pericardium it is a space between two layers of serous pericardium there are two sinuses one transverse sinus and the one is oblique sinus they are formed due to reflection of the visceral layers of the serous pericardium around the great vessels transverse sinus it is a transverse recess behind the ascending aorta and pulmonary trunk and in front of the superior vena cava and superior pulmonary veins it develops due to degeneration of the dorsal mesocardium function on each side it communicates with the general pericardium cavity oblique sinus it is a recess of serous pericardium behind the base of heart it is j shaped it encloses six veins two vena cava and four pulmonary veins function of the oblique sinus is it permits the distension of the left atrium during the return of oxygenated blood boundaries anteriorly left atrium posterior parietal pericardium on left side reflection of visceral pericardium on right side reflection of visceral pericardium along the right pulmonary veins of inferior vena cava superiorly the reflection of the visceral pericardium along right and left superior pulmonary veins inferiorly it is open heart chambers of the heart four chambers right atrium right ventricle left atrium left ventricle among them right atrium and right ventricle are important one demarcation of chambers of the heart uh, it is by coronary sulcus or av groove anterior interventricular sulcus and posterior interventricular sulcus so let's talk about the av groove in brief it encircles the heart and separates atria from ventricles it is divided into anterior part and posterior part whereas the anterior part consists of right and left halves right half lodges the right coronary artery rca and left half lodges the circumflex branch from left coronary artery lca posterior part of av groove lodges coronary sinus it is a vein coronary sinus it is the principal vein of the heart most of the blood from walls of the heart drain into the coronary sinus and later it drain into the right atrium right atrium It is a quadrilateral chamber consists of main cavity and small outpouching called auricle. External features: the right atrium is elongated vertically and receives superior vena cava at its upper and the inferior vena cava at the lower end. The upper anterior part is elongated to the left, left to form the right auricular appendage, the right auricle. The margins of the auricle are notched. The right auricle overlaps the root of the ascending aorta completely. A shallow ven vertical groove called the sulcus terminalis extends along the right border between the superior vena cava and inferior vena cava. It lodges SI node. The vertical right AV groove lodges right coronary artery and the small cardiac vein. Internal structures 
It is divided into two parts, smooth part and rough part. Smooth part derived from the right horn of sinus venosus. All venous channels except cardiac veins open into this part. Whereas rough part derived from the primitive atrium, it presents ridges, those are known as musculi pectinati, and interior of auricle presents the reticular sponge like network of the muscular ridges. Septal valve, it is derived from the septum primum and septum secundum, and fossa ovalis, oval shaped depression in the lower part. Annulus ovalis, it represents the free edge of the septum secundum and triangle of Koch. A triangular area bounded in front by the base of the septal leaflet of the tricuspid valve, behind by the anterior margin of the opening of the coronary sinus and above by the tendon of Todoro. Openings into the right atrium. It has the following openings, opening of superior vena cava, opening of inferior vena cava, opening of coronary sinus and um, right AV orifice many small orifices like vena cordis minimi or the thebasian veins right ventricle in right ventricle one important uh, topic is moderator band and it is also known as septomarginal tuberculum it is thick muscular ridge extending from ventricular septum to base of the anterior papillary muscle it conveys right branch of av bundle its main function is to prevent over distension of right ventricle arterial supply of the heart heart is supplied by two coronary arteries arising from the ascending aorta one is a right coronary artery also known as rcm its origin from the anterior aortic sinus from ascending aorta. Course, it starts from ascending aorta, runs between pulmonary trunk and left right auricle, and it descends or in right AV groove. At inferior border, it turns posteriorly. In the posterior AV groove, it anastomoses with the left coronary artery. Branches, it gives the following branches right conus artery, arterial branches, anterior ventricular branches posterior ventricular sorry interventricular branches and in left coronary artery its origin arises from the left posterior aortic sinus of the ascending aorta cause it starts from ascending aorta runs between pulmonary trunk and left auricle it has it gives two branches anterior interventricular or also known as left anterior descending branch and it goes up to the apex and turns backwards and po in posterior interventricular groove it anastomoses with the posterior inter interventricular artery whereas circumflex artery it anastomoses with the rca branches left anterior descending artery land circumflex artery diagonal artery conus artery arterial branches clinical aspect there is angina of pectoris and myocardial infarction. This condition may be caused by the arterial occlusion and they cause ischemia and tissue necrosis. And sites of coronary arterial occlusion LAD 40 to 50%, RCA 30%, circumflex branch of the ILCA is 15 to 20%. Venous drainage of the heart uh, the following veins will drain the heart the coronary sinus, anterior cardiac veins, and vena cordis minimi or the thebasian veins. Coronary sinus, it is a principal vein of the heart. So it is the largest vein and lies on posterior AV groove and tributaries are greater great cardiac vein, middle cardiac vein, small cardiac vein, posterior vein of the left ventricle and oblique vein of the left atrium, right marginal vein, left marginal vein. So anterior cardiac veins in it run parallel in right ventricle and drain into the right atrium. Vena cordis minimi, small veins in the walls of all four chambers, they directly open into the respective chambers. No supply of the heart. It is supplied by the sympathetic and parasympathetic fibers via superficial and deep cardiac plexus. So parasympathetic 
uh, nerve supply is derived from the vagus nerve the, the, that is cardio inhibitory and sympathetic it is derived from the upper 3 to 5 thoracic spinal segments superficial cardiac plexus its location it lies below the arch of aorta and it is formed by the left cervical sympathetic branch and left vagus nerve distribution superficial cardiac plexus will give branches to the deep cardiac plexus rca and left anterior pulmonary plexus deep cardiac plexus its location uh, it lie in front of bifurcation of trachea and behind the arch of aorta formed by upper four to five thoracic ganglia of sympathetic chain and its distribution are coronary arteries and pulmonary plexus separate branch branches to atria Arch of aorta is the continuation of the ascending aorta at the level of sternal angle and continues as the descending thoracic aorta at the level of sternal angle. Thus, it both begins as well as terminates at the same level. Location, it is situated in the superior mediastinum. At its course, the arch of aorta begins at the level of right second coastal cartilage and runs upward, backward and to the left in front of the bifurcation of the trachea. Having reached the back of the middle of the manubrium, it turns backwards and downward behind the left bronchus up to the level of the lower border of T4 vertebra, where it continues as descending thoracic aorta. Relations Posterior and to the right, it is related to trachea and esophagus, left recurrent laryngeal nerve, thoracic duct, vertebral column. Anterior and to the left, it is related to left lung and pleura, left phrenic nerve, left vagus nerve, left cardiac nerves, and left superior intercostal vein. Inferior, left bronchus and bifurcation of pulmonary trunk, ligamentum arteriosum, and left recurrent laryngeal nerve, and superior cardiac plexus. Superiorly related to the bron bronchiocephalic trunk, left common carotid artery, left subclavian artery, left brachiocephalic vein, and thymus. Branches, it gives the brachiocephalic artery, left common carotid artery, and left subclavian artery. Clinical aspect, coarctation of aorta. It is a congenital narrowing of arch of aorta. And clinical features, it uh, there is difference in blood pressure of upper limb and lower limb, and there will be notching of lower borders of the ribs and pulsating scapula. Another one important aspect is the aneurysm of aorta. Azygous vein. Azygous vein present only on the right side of in the upper part of abdominal wall and posterior mediastinum. Function it drains venous blood from thoracic wall, upper lumbar region, collateral channels between superior vena cava and inferior vena cava. And formation uh, it has many formation uh, the union of the right subcoastal vein and right ascending lumbar vein, or it arises from inferior vena cava or it continuation of the right subcoastal vein. Course and termination, it starts from um, from the formation, leaves abdomen, pass through the aortic opening in the diaphragm, and it reaches the posterior mediastinum. At the T4 level, it drains into the superior vena cava. Relations anteriorly related to esophagus, posteriorly related to lower right thoracic vertebra and right posterior intercostal artery, to the right right lung, right splanchnic nerve, to the left thoracic duct, descending thoracic aorta, and esophagus. Tributaries, uh, lower 7th right posterior intercostal veins, except first, right superior intercostal vein and uh, hemiazygous vein, accessory hemiazygous vein at the T8 level and right subcostal vein, right bronchial vein, right ascending lumbar vein, esophageal, mediastinal and pericardial vein. Thoracic duct, it is the largest lymphatic vessel and it uh, lymph in this duct is in milky white in color and area of drainage it drains lymph from all parts of the body except right side of the hand and head and neck right side of the heart right side of the chest wall right lung right surface of the liver right upper limb extent it extends from the thoracic duct extends from upper end of the cisterna cali up to the left internal jugular vein and left subclavian vein measurements 
length 45 cm and width of the lumen is 5 mm formation it begins at the t12 vertebra as continuation of the cisterna cali termination it terminates by opening into the junction of left subclavian vein and internal jugular vein relations a at aortic orifice of diaphragm it is related to anteriorly median arcuate ligament posteriorly t12 vertebra to right azygous vein and to left iota in pa in post mediastinum anteriorly diaphragm descending iota esophagus and posteriorly vertebral column anterior longitudinal ligament right posterior intercostal artery to right uh, azygous vein to the left descending thoracic iota in superior mediastinum anteriorly it is related to arch of iota posteriorly vertebral column to the right esophagus to the left left lung and pleura in root of the neck anteriorly it is related to carotid sheath posteriorly it is related to vertebral artery and vein scalenus anterior muscle phrenic nerve thyrocervical trunk and its branches tributaries in the abdomen it gives uh, lower six intercostal lymph nodes and in thorax a pair of ascending lymph trunks and a pair of descending lymph trunks lymph vessels from posterior mediastinal lymph lymph node and um, in neck left jugular lymph trunk and left subclavian lymph trunk and left bronchomediastinal trunk constrictions of the esophagus there are four constrictions one at the pharyngoesophageal junction at the level of c6 vertebra and it's uh, 15 centimeter from the upper incisor teeth and second one at the crossing of arch of iota t4 22 centimeter and at crossing of the left principal bronchus t6 and 27 centimeter at the opening of the uh, diaphragm at the level of t10 and 40 centimeter from the upper incisor teeth